Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of introduction to Selenium, I'm going to explain what is automation testing. In the previous session, I covered what is manual testing. Now, I'm going to explain what is automation testing and how it is different from the manual testing. In manual testing, the testing will be directly performed by the persons there is software testers instead of using any test automation tools, but in automation testing, in automation testing, the testing will be performed by the automation tools. Okay. Testing performed by test automation tools. Okay. Testing performed by test automation tools on behalf of testers or persons. Okay, is nothing but automation testing. If the testing is directly performed by the tester by directly sitting before the machine in a manual way that is called as manual testing. But if the testing is performed by the test automation tools on behalf of the software testers or people is known as automation testing. So what are this, this uh, test automation tool? What are these test automation tools? For example, guys, we have an automation tool known as Selenium. Okay, which we are going to learn as part of this training series, right? That training series name is Selenium Python. Here, Selenium is a test automation, one of the test automation tools. Similar to Selenium, we have several test automation tools like uh, UFT, then we have Test Complete, we have Cypress, okay, Sosta, and many more are there in the market, guys. Okay, so in this series, I'm going to explain about Selenium in Python programming language. So here, Selenium is one, uh, one of the examples of this, one of the test automation tools available in the market. If you are going to use this Selenium kind of test automation tools, Okay, to perform the testing on behalf of the real people sitting before the machine and performing the testing that is called as automation testing is let me practically show you how automation testing will be done by this test automation tools on behalf of the testers. Okay, without the real need of the people sitting before the machine, how this test automation tools like Selenium are going to perform the testing. Okay, I'm going to show you right now. So for that here, I'm going to this, uh, you see, you can see this code here, which is written in Selenium. Okay. This is nothing but Selenium tool for now. You have to understand that whatever you are seeing on the screen is a Selenium tool, guys, uh, where the code is written in Selenium. Okay. Selenium automation code is written already. So if I run this code, you see, I don't have to test, uh, I don't have to open the browser manually. I don't have to enter the application URL manually. I don't have to type the uh, search, uh, product name into the search box field manually. Everything will happen automatically. This tool will take care of that. Okay. Run this. You see, I'm not touching my screen anymore. I've already run it. You see, automatically the browser got launched, application URL got typed, and HP has been typed. Now it's clicking on the search button. It's checking whether the product got displayed in the search results. And fine. After that, it is closing the browser window also. And we got the result here. You see, now the tool itself is saying that the HP product has been displayed in the search results. Okay. The testing, the particular automation test got passed. Here, the testing is performed by who? The test automation tool. Okay, here a real person is not performing the testing, rather, the test automation tool is performing the testing. This is a very sample example, guys. Don't worry if you don't understand any of this code here. Okay, this I am going to cover in a step by step way, step by uh, step way in the upcoming sessions, guys. Okay, so this is just a small, just to give you a small heads up or idea like how a test automation tool will automate the application or test the application on behalf of the testers. Okay, testing it manually. I just wanted to demonstrate. So Hope okay, guys, so you got the answer for this, uh, what is uh, automation testing and how it is different from the manual testing in this session. So in the next session, I'm going to explain how can a tool perform testing, okay? How can an automation tool perform testing? I'm going to cover in the next session. So see you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.